Hello everybody, I'm just going to be doing a quick video to help some people out, show you guys how to use the new feature on csgocoins.com. A lot of people have been having trouble getting this started, so just thought I'd make a quick tutorial to, uh, you know, show people how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to csgocoins.com, obviously, and then you're going to want to click on Mine Coins. You're going to want to click this to download the coin miner. I've already downloaded it, but I'll download it again. And then once it's done downloading, you want to open it. Make sure you have something like WinRAR or um, 7-Zip or something you can unrar stuff with. And then you're going to get this folder right here. And you have two options from here. You can either just take this and drag it onto your uh, desktop. That'll definitely be the most easiest. Um, or what you can do is what I've done is I mine, I mine Ethereum apart from the website. So I have a folder and I named it Biffy Miner just so I know um you know the difference from his and mine so you just make a new folder you name it whatever you want to where you'll know that this is um you know it goes to csgo coins and you'll just open this folder click Control a and then drag it all into there um or you know you, like i said earlier you can just drag that to your desktop either will work and then once you have that you're going to want to open it and uh he recommends that you you run the benchmark thing you don't have to if you um, you know, you don't want to, but it's recommended. I didn't just because I already, I mine Ethereum, so I already know what mine is going to mine at. But, uh, a lot of people are getting this. I think everybody gets this right now. Uh, it doesn't affect anything, I don't think. So just click OK. And then you're going to want to, first thing you want to do is click on your service location. This is where your computer is going to be connecting to. Obviously, if you're in USA and you click China, that's, that's not ideal. So you want to click whichever is the closest to you. What, like if you're in USA, this is the only option right now, so that would be the best and vice versa. And then um, you're almost done once you're there. Then you're just gonna want to go here, back here, and click on your minor key. Copy this and open this again. And then I've already done it, but you're just gonna wanna paste it right here. This will be blank by default. You just wanna paste it right there. And then uh, you can pretty much just start mining from there. Um, but I'll just give you guys some tips, um, I guess now. Uh, if you want to use your computer, like, while you're mining, I would recommend not having CPU checked, just because your CPU is what does all of, like, your, it's like the brains of your computer, so if you have it mining, obviously, it's, and you're trying to watch, like, a YouTube video, it's gonna struggle a little bit. So, I, I don't mind with my CPU, I just do my GPU. Uh, not having your CPU checked is not really going to affect performance that much because your GPU is most of what you mine from. So you'll just uncheck that or check it, whatever you want. And then uh, you can click settings and then go here. I have I have just one checked because I don't want to mine two. I find that you get a slightly better hash rate if you're just mining singly. But uh, there seems to be a little glitch right now. You can't unclick things. So what you have to do is click on CPU and then click it, unclick it, or whatever, and then you can unclick CPU. And then you just got to click save and uh, close. And then you can start your miner. And once you start it, it's, you know, I haven't benchmarked it, but that's okay. It's going to do all of this. And you have to be careful because it's not really dangerous. But if you have a graphics card that has less than 3 gigabytes of RAM, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to mine. I don't know if this software lets you mine, but I know the one that I use doesn't let you if you have less than 3 gigabytes of VRAM. So... Obviously, some people are going to mine at a better hash rate than others. Uh, I'm mining at 21 because I'm mining with, uh, I'm mining two right now. I'm not sure why, even though I unchecked the other one. And um, you want to make sure that your, your graphics card doesn't get too hot. You need to, say if you have a GTX 1060, you need to Google a safe temperature for it and it, make sure you're not exceeding that safe temperature. Your card, which is what mine's doing right now, it's getting hotter. I have mine set to 75, and if it gets hotter than 75, it automatically throttles. Uh, so usually I'll be running faster than this, but I'm not, you know, because it's throttling. So just, you guys can uh, just overclock or underclock or do whatever you need to do to balance your CPU and GPU and make sure nothing's getting too hot. Because if it does get too hot, it can and will damage your graphics card, and we don't want that. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do to get this mining. If you go to here and you click Dashboard, it'll show you how uh, how long you need to 
wait until you get your next, uh, you know, like one coin. It'll give you one coin every time this gets to 100. It takes about um, maybe two minutes for me. This updates every like 30 seconds, I think. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So um, just make sure, or I just jumped up, just make sure you guys don't accidentally get your graphics card running too hot. Make sure it's like in a comfortable, uh, make sure it's in a comfortable temperature. Make sure you're not, um, you know, burning your graphics card out because it's not going to be worth it if you're getting one coin. So yeah, I hope this video could help somebody out at least a little bit. Um, yeah, hopefully there can be a better video in the future, but until then, this will help some people out. Alright, see you guys.